And we're spinning for the first ingredient, which is going to be... Oh, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Cherry. Ah, okay, okay. Someone said that is the ingredient confetti. Yes, the ingredient is confetti. Absolutely. Um, so let's see what our second ingredient is. Here we go. The second ingredient is going to be... Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, perfect. I'm glad I still have this. Black lime. The second ingredient is black lime. Cherry and black lime. Well, 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 look who's here. Inspector the star. Why, oh, Mr. Mo. Here we are for the grand finale, big tasting of this. I have my friend Jake here, um, who was a big, huge help and judge in Mead Stampede. Helped to actually help me judge this guy. So Jake, welcome. Thanks for uh, helping me out. Thanks for having me. This is killer. Now, I had the, the luxury of being able to just ha hand Jake a bottle before we left because we were here for Mead Stampede. And then of course, we had to leave at some point. So handed him a bottle, said, hey, I'd love your help. And uh, here we are now. So I'm excited, it'll be good. Um, I just told you a little bit about this. For anyone who somehow got amnesia and forgot since the beginning of the video, this was black lime, black cherry, avocado blossom honey, bow shade and non bow shade. And that was pretty much it. So this does have some water in it. It's not all black cherry juice. That's, that's one important fact. I'm sure this would change a lot given all black cherry juice, um, but the black lime is super interesting. What I would love for us to do, I would love for you to, to smell it, taste, give me your unfiltered opinion, good, bad, roast me, whatever you want to do. I would love to know your opinion on this thing. So how about it? Great. I'm going to check the nose. Ooh, I haven't had this in a little bit too. That's kind of fun. Wow. Yeah. This is really interesting aroma. Mm-hmm. Black lime's pretty fun. I've never used it before, so that was a very uh, interesting ingredient. Yeah, it's got like a I'm picking up a roastiness and a citrus on top. It's uh, it's something I don't think I've ever smelled before. It's really curious. The Boshang side, I think, also brings out so many extra aromas too from that honey. But then you also have such an aromatic profile from the lime. I get a little cherry, but there's a lot of lime on the nose. It's, uh, it's yeah, there is a there's. There's a fruitiness for sure. Uh -huh. It's muted, much more muted than I thought. Well, let's taste it. How about that? Yeah, it's great. Hmm. I'm trying to think the last time I had this. Huh. What are you picking up? It, you know, I've only had a small handful of Boucher's before. Maybe 10 compared huh. to the, I don't know, hundreds of Mellow Mel's that I've had, but it's re it's really interesting. Mm -hmm. The um, there's a tartness that I'm picking up, and I'm I think that's from the black lime. Mm -hmm. I've never messed with black limes myself, so that's just what I'm my assumption is. But it's a, it doesn't bring an overwhelming acidity. I was kind of expecting to just get smacked with acidity, and it's not. It's much more like roasty and smooth compared to 
the, yeah. the, 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 the brightness and the, and the tartness that's there as well. It's, uh, it's really interesting. I'm having a, I've never had anything like this. So this is like a really a, a first yeah. for me. I think the, the black cherry comes in and really, um, alongside of course, the Boche honey comes in and, and kind of tempers down a little bit of that. It's, it's more, um, on the back of the palate. I don't get a lot of forward leaning black cherry essence. And that's, that's kind of what I was talking about. If I'd used all black cherry juice, then this thing would be, I mean, super cherry -y, obviously. Sure. So I feel like, um, that black lime maybe in that dehydration process does lose a little bit of its high acidicness, which is kind of nice, high acidity. Um, and that it allows for the black cherry to pop through. This really reminds me of a, uh, I don't want to say a dessert uh, cherry limeade, but it does feel like that. Because a cherry limeade to me, being from the South, that's like a normal drink. That's not dessert. This is like a kind of leaning into that like dinner cherry limeade. Yeah, it's interesting now that you say that. I'm, I was kind of going like chocolate covered cherry a little bit with... Okay. Uh, you know, there's definitely a, a roasty. You, you said you bocheted this for 45 minutes? Mm hmm. 45 minutes and then came back and back sweetened with more avocado blossom honey. Okay. Yeah. Have you used avocado blossom honey before? I haven't used avocado myself, no. It's very interesting. If you can ever get a hold of some, it's very, like I said, roasty, very, like, um, kind of nutty tasting. Yeah. And, uh, it's got a little bit of fruitiness to it itself, but it's like dark, dark, dark fruit. It's not like orange blossom. So, and then of course, Beauchesne, it brings out even more darkness, brings more darkness to it. You know, I thought so. I was going to hate the, I thought I was going to hate the, the roastiness combined with the fruitiness, but it's actually intriguing. Like it's really mm -hmm. interesting to drink. Mm -hmm. I really want to play with black limes more now because a, I feel like you can do a lot of stuff with it, especially if it's less acidic than normal lime. You know, you could really open the doors to use a black lime in places where um, you want the lime character without it being like puckering and just in your face. Yeah. And the color is so, it's almost pitch black. It's a very, very dark brown. I wouldn't call it black, but it's a very dark brown. Like uh -huh. a, we've got a local coffee stout that's the exact same color here. Yeah. This does, I mean, to me, this does have, maybe it's the body of it, but a, like a stoutiness to it. And I think it's the, the malty roastiness you get from the honey that really kind of emphasizes that. Yeah. Well, you know, oh, if this were carbonated, it might sing a different song. Like, ah, I'm, not, I'm yeah. not saying this is bad by any means. Oh, yeah. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. Uh -huh. But if this had some tickly carbonation to it, mm. oh, you might be onto something. I This has prompted me to want to make actually attempt um i'll call it a true black or not excuse, not black cherry but a cherry limeade me i think it'd be interesting to go down that road it wouldn't be that hard in all reality so i think i'll be investigating that it'll be a way different profile obviously way more cherry heavy and that lime will be just kind of like a just a little uh, icing on top this yeah. feels like the lime is is the whole cake <laughs> in a lot of ways so i do wish i had more black cherry juice in here i think that would have helped out with some of that flavor but it's not too overwhelming no and i i think it's really well rounded you know it doesn't have any sharp edges that really bother you it's smooth and you get a little bit of all the spectrum you know you um the roastiness the toastiness which doesn't provide a a, a burn that stops you from wanting more, you know, accompanied mm -hmm. by the fruitiness and the little bit of tartness from the lime. This is nice, man. Thank you. So I guess that brings us to our, our final question. Based off of this alone, this uh, interpretation of it, of course, uh, like I said earlier, someone on earth can go and make this recipe or make the black cherry and black lime recipe and crush it way more than me. Based off of this alone, do you think this is a, a good mead combination ingredient combination yes Good. Sweet. yes absolutely i've nailed it <laughs> yeah well i say nailed it i have things to i think there are things that could be better about this but overall i agree i'm very 
very pleased with it. And uh, it is yielding or kind of edging close to that uh, cherry limeade style. So naturally, I feel like it's a little easy to get come by. But the roastiness, like you said, could have been uh, a game changer. It could have really flipped this thing over. So I'm thankful that it didn't. I think it turned out pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. And especially for a, a random experiment to come out, you know, that's nice and balanced and intriguing on the nose and interesting on the palate. And yeah, of course it can be a meat. Absolutely. Well, thank you. So if you'd like to make this, anybody like to make this, you can go check out the recipe that's on the screen right now. Of course, you've seen it earlier. You've seen the whole video how I made this. My goal at the end of the day is not to say, you have to make a mead just like me. I think this one turned out pretty good. You can sub out honeys if you wanted to, juices, regular lime. You know, I know black lime is probably a little more niche to do. Not everybody's like got a black lime around their house. You can make them by dehydrating a lime, but you have to have the proper equipment. So that can be a little bit tough. So I encourage you to make this, uh, try it. You might love it, you might hate it. You'll never know until you try it though. You know, unfortunately with this, how this works, I only get to share this with a few people around me. And so hopefully Jake is uh, giving you a little insight, not just mine into what I've created. <laughs> so Jake, thank you for coming on and helping me. Appreciate it, man. Hey, thanks for having me. Thanks for sharing. This was a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. Now you'll see Jake again very soon um, in another video. So, or you might've already seen him. I don't know what the order is, but you'll see Jake <laughs> in another video on the channel. So this is not the last time you'll see him, but I appreciate you being around. Uh, this is not the last time I'll send you mead. I think uh, ever since Mead Stampede, we'll be hopefully getting to share some things. Uh, I know my wife would appreciate some bottles leaving my house. So <laughs> she'll be awesome. on board for that. So. Thanks, Jake. Appreciate you. And if you uh, if you want to comment below, if you want to do all the buttons and things, hit those things. But we, I'll catch you next time on a video. Uh, thanks. Thanks for watching.